Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC. I'm back for a new video. In this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the player that had an Emerald card earlier on in the year that everybody loved. And 2K just dropped his Ruby card today that I'm sure everybody's going to love. And I can't wait to get into a gameplay with him. This man being Ruby Maurice Peterson. Before I really hop into it and everything, this is my third upload up today. Yes, we are on that grind. We are on that road to 10,000 subscribers grind. So if you guys are new, just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. 10,000 subscribers is the goal by the end of the year. So boom, right here in front of us, we do indeed have the man. Ruby Maurice Peterson, and yes, it's indeed on, it's in, this is indeed on my account right here. Here's a squad that I'm rocking with. We are all ball, we are all broke boy ballers. They have no contract, but anyways, doesn't matter because we're going to be featuring this card right here in front of us. So yeah, this is the Ruby version of Maurice Peterson, the Emerald version. Oh my goodness. The Emerald played like a diamond. I can't imagine what this Ruby's going to play like. I'm really excited to get into a gameplay, but first things first, we're going to go over the badges and the stats. As he is six foot nine. wow, I honestly thought he was six foot eight. I really thought that his Emerald was a six foot eight card. But hey, he is six foot nine, and I'm all for it. He, I'm gonna love playing this man in my three-two zone. I love the lengthy guys, but yeah, he has a 91 overall offensive rating, 90 overall defensive rating. He does come with five gold badges: corner specialist, mid-range Jedi, catch and shoot, deep range Jedi, and gold limitless range. Onto the attributes right here, he does come with a an 84 driving layup. His post is not really that good, but he's a sharpshooter; doesn't really need the post. Draw foul is gonna be at an 84. Shot close at an 84. Open shot mid-range at an 88, the open three balls at a 92, 88 free throws, 79 driving dunk, 44 contact dunk. Let's take a look at his driving dunk tendencies. Driving dunk tendencies at a 40, so he's definitely just going to be throwing those two-handed rim grazers. Those are, those are arguably the best dunks in the game. His ball control at an 82, but I did add a plus five ball control shoe, so we can be, we're going to be speed boosting with him in this video. We're going to be having some fun speed boosting with this man. His defense is all right. 78 steal, 82 shot contest. Rebounding, it's, it's all right. Speed at an 85, 78 speed with ball, 98 stamina, 87 lateral quickness. And without further ado, let's get into some gameplay. Oh my goodness, Rudy Gay with the steal. Uh, Okay, I'll take the slam, J.R. Smith. I kind of wanted to give it to my boy Mo already. Start off the game, but we'll, we'll start off with the stay at. We'll start off with a J.R. Smith slam. Let's go. Give me that. Oh my goodness, Mo Peterson with the steal. That's what I'm talking about. Let's cross the middle right here. Nice way to go to the middle layup. We nearly got the and one. Great take. Two free throws right here from Mo Peterson. Let's knock down these two. Knock down your first points of the game right here. And at 88. I don't think he's gonna miss the second one as he nails the first. And the second one is. Good as well. Oh my goodness, this man really got that steal. Let's stop and pop right here on a fast break for the three ball. Hey, already starting off this game with the three ball. Knocking down his first three in the game, Maurice Peterson. St nice start. Oh, give me that steal. I read that like a book. Let's go. I want to shoot a three, but I'll go away with a nice slam. One handed slam dunk on the left side. Spanning our lead. Let's keep it up. So I don't know what's going on. Either I have the playbook glitch or Mo Peterson just doesn't have any plays in my playbook. I don't know what's going on, but he is wide open right here for the three ball, and he misses it. Just, I wish I had my plays. Oh my goodness, he just passed it right to me. Let's go, Mo Peterson wide open on the left side. 4-3 and his hot spot on a fast break. Bang! Let's go. He knocked that one down. We had to knock that one down right there. And he has 10 points and three, three steals. Still got a minute 30 left to go in the first quarter so honestly that's I don't really know any of these plays they don't I don't have any three-point plays for Mo but I guess we can try to win one right here don't really know what this is because it's an isolation of post for Mo Peterson okay give me a nice post fadeaway actually Mo Peterson knocks that down great shot good defense Rudy Gay grab it let's go Mo Peterson I'm gonna stop and pop I'm gonna get greedy right here for the three ball yes. dang it I got way too greedy right there. I mean, I understand I only have... A okay, we got it right back anyways. <laughs> I got way too greedy. I should just take the twos when, you know, my opponent's giving them to me. That's something I do have to work on as well in 2K is we take a nice mid-range right there. And Mo Peterson has his takeover badge. But that's just something in general I have to work on in my 2K. Just being patient and taking the points when they're given to me. You know, I get, I get greedy very often. Not really sure you guys can tell in my gameplays. But I get greedy very, very often. In this case, I literally just did. But just something I have to work on in terms of my 2K skill. Just simply taking taking points when they're there. Not passing up easy buckets. There we go. We got that one. Rudy with the steal. Mo Peterson's out and running. Take it up by yourself. One-handed slam right here. Or two-hander. I'll take it. 
Points are points. That is something, like I said, I have to work on. Taking my points when they're there. Good rebound, Dirk Nowitzki. And that's Mo Peterson on the left. Now we can stop and pop because no one's stepping up right here. Open three ball. Bang! Mo Peterson knocks it down on the wing for the three. That's what I'm talking about. I told you guys all about the patience and taking smart shots. That's something I have to work on, and I'm working on it as we speak. And I... Oh, oh that was my steal. We got to grab it. Board. Rebound. 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 Come on, you guys. We got to get the rebound. Rudy Gay, though, with the steal. Mo Peters is already out and running. I want to pull that so badly. So badly I want to pull that three. But points are points, and we're taking them right there. And right now, Mo Peterson has 21. Grab it. Oh. Darren Nemiski with the steal. Let's go. I'm going to take him again. Almost stop and pop because he's he, had, he was going to the paint. Green light. Let's go. 24. Mo Peterson right now is a man on a mission. Oh, nice screen from Finley. Okay, let's backdoor Maurice, P Maurice Peterson. Oh my goodness, you gotta hold on to the ball. That would've been a... Okay, Jared Smith is wide open. Okay, Mo Peterson cut straight to the bucket. I don't know what happened. My opponent fell asleep or a beautiful cut as he has 26. Give me that inbound steal. Nearly got that one. Guard to guard picking fade right here. If he overplays the pick, we're gonna hit him on a fade. And yep, he overplayed the pick. Got him in the air. Well, at least I thought I got him in the air. But a fading mid-range. And guess who still knocks it down? The GOAT. Mo Peterson has his takeover badge again. Honestly, let's just go up to him right now and stop and oh I wanted to stop and pop so badly. Fortunately I couldn't, but let's send actually I was trying to send Mo on a backdoor cut, but actually we're just gonna wide open right here for three with takeover. Okay, I guess this his stamina might be kicking in a little bit. He is pretty exhausted. 10.9 seconds left. That means we just have one more possession before the first half is over. He's not oh he stepped up. Finley open. Back to Mo on the wing. Four seconds. Three, two, at the buzzer, mid-range with takeover. Clank kind of force fed him. My fault, but he does have 30 first half points. We are up by 10 heading into the second half. Oh, nice backdoor cut by Mo Peterson. He's there. We got to clear this one. We got to get out the paint. Get out the paint. Jared Smith attacking middle right here. And that's Mo Peterson finding himself open on the wing for the three ball. And he knocks it down. Is that a three? That was a foot on the line. We'll still take it. Nice shot. Okay, what a nice fade. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you guys. I, whenever Tom Yonovich does this thing, I always try to sneak in a little buck, a couple buckets with him. But if you guys are looking for an amethyst to get besides Marbury and Dirk, Rudy Tom Yonovich is a walking bucket. I think he's the third best amethyst on the token board. Oh, great ball movement. Paul George has somehow found himself wide open. He knocks it down. The bench is doing their thing. Is now we have an 11 point lead with under a minute left to go in the third. So, at the start of the fourth quarter, I was up by 13, and my opponent did indeed leave the match. GG to him. I guess Mo Peterson was just too much for him to handle. I forgot how much points he did drop, but I know for a fact he did drop. I know Mo Peterson dropped at least 30. I, I can't remember. I think it was I think it was 34 to be. I think it was 34. But yeah, GG to him. He played a good one, like I said. The man Mo, the best budget card in the game. The, just, I don't even know what you call him, to be honest. I guess you can call him an opal in a ruby tier. Like, this man, Mo Peterson, is just something else. His release, his, his release combined with his height, combined the fact that he could speed boost, combined with his length, combined with, you know, just everything, his defense. He's six foot eight, so he can play defense. Combined with everything, like, the man is just a pure walking bucket, like, this man's just insane. Like, we always just have that one car that just simply stands out from the rest. Like, last year, in the beginning of the year, I honestly forgot. I, we Like, in the beginning of the year, we always have that one car who just stands out from the rest. For example, last year, we had Danny Granger. Six foot nine, you know, just, I guess you could say Mo Peterson is kind of like a left-handed Danny Granger. You know, they're both six eight, six foot nine. They're both demigods. But as I was saying... Danny Granger last year was just like that card that was just so overpowered, everybody tried to use him and tried to get him. This year, it's Mo Peterson at the start of the year. This Mo Peterson is just absolutely ridiculous. If you guys like his Emerald card, I know for a fact you guys are going to love his Ruby card. That's, that's going to get me on his card review. Honestly, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 to be honest. I really, really, really hope we do get an Amethyst or Diamond or Pink Diamond. I doubt we'll get a Pink Diamond. I highly doubt we're going to get a Diamond, but... Like, we've been blessed with this Ruby uh, Maurice Peterson, but if they give us an Amethyst version of this man, oh my goodness. I can't imagine what type of havoc he'll be doing on the court and damage. But anyways, I had a lot of fun, if you guys can't tell, with this card. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you guys do indeed scoop him up, try him out. Catch you guys in the next one, and it's YBC, and I'm out.
Peace.